the purpose, the meaning of an overtaking lane. Brainstorming for Effie's book. I'm just feeling a lot of like dread. Four hours in retail feels like a lot longer than four hours. It's just such an amazing feeling. Just get the boring bits out of the way. Did a bad thing. Did another bad thing. Same with Primark. Don't know don't know their names. But just day shift. Lazy fucks. What is going on with my YouTube channels? Good morning everyone, or technically it is the afternoon now because it not long turned 12. It's actually Monday the 23rd of September and welcome back to my channel, welcome to a new vlog. This week I actually, I just, I'd like to do a week in the life, that's what this vlog is going to be. It's going to be a week in the life because I just, I want to do one. Need to keep an eye on my bacon. So yeah, you heard right. It is 12 p.m. on a Monday and I am in the kitchen doing chores technically already. Actually, right now all I'm doing is cooking bacon for the week for my lunches. Maybe this will be like my, ooh, actually, I say like weekly routine and everything, but actually, do I want to say this? I was meant to have a driving lesson today, but it's been moved to tomorrow. The only reason why I'm having a driving lesson this week is because I actually have a driving test on Thursday. And I'm not quite sure how to feel about it. I'm just trying to like remain neutral, stay calm, because obviously I had a driving test a few weeks ago now, the end of August actually. So it's been about a month and like I didn't pass. I'm going to check on my bacon in a minute. The only one can see Don't know what that song is Jolene, 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 Jolene Surprised I managed that First bits of bacon are done. Tongs with for the bacon. Should probably put them down. As I was saying, obviously I had my last driving test this time last month and I didn't pass. And I know I would have explained it like in a previous vlog and if I can find the right one, I'll make sure to leave it linked down below. But long story short, the reason why I didn't pass that test is because I came off a roundabout onto a dual carriageway on the right hand lane so the overtaking lane and I was like I was meant to move back because that's sort of like the purpose the meaning of an overtaking lane and I didn't but the reason why I actually failed that or like was unsuccessful with passing is because a lorry undertook me so they were like they were behind me then they moved out to the left and came back in in front of me in the right hand lane so they undertook me and that's like yeah it is technically a serious driving fault because it wasn't the normal positioning for the road but I do have hope for this next driving test but obviously I don't want to be putting too much pressure on myself to pass I actually think that that was like one of the main reasons like subconsciously why I didn't pass my test but now I have my second chance I'm like on one hand yeah obviously I want to pass I want to be able to get myself to places but also on the other hand if I don't pass I can take the test again even though it's a pain in the ass to get like a close like a test a cancellation test if we don't pass this one it's not the end of the world i was meant to have like a driving lesson today that's why i've been up since like half nine ten ish but my instructor's car needed servicing and it took her a bit longer than she was like expecting it to take. So my lesson has been moved to tomorrow and like I completely understand that sort of situation because my dad himself is like a car mechanic. So I know the importance of servicing but I feel like when I do start driving like on my own I probably, well my dad will like service my car and whatnot but this week obviously depending on how my driving test goes on thursday this 
vlog may end up being like half a week in the life like we'll just we'll just see how it goes for today right now i'm mostly just doing my bacon for the week probably done a bit much because depending on well actually i'll probably have some on saturday because either way of like what happens on thursday i do still need to go into town and i'm gonna meet up with my boyfriend that's like the whole reason why i'm cooking my bacon now i usually do it like sunday afternoon but like i was at my boyfriend's for the weekend so i'm doing it now oh also yeah i've got a little bit i say a little bit i've got a cold my boyfriend was ill last week that he got from one of his mates he got ill like his mate then my boyfriend got ill and then because i went to my boyfriend's over the weekend i naturally it naturally progressed to me but i have already taken some like paracetamol this morning bacon is done i don't know why but like i just don't really know what to do with myself like i used to be the type of person that <laughs> went to bed like super early this was like when i was in college oh my god i have videos dating back to that sort of time as well i envy that time a lot i'm just wearing a necklace by the way because i don't know if anyone's noticed but i don't wear my ring anymore on my ring finger because naturally as the years have gone on i've just gotten i, I don't really want to talk about my weight too much but I, i've obviously put on a bit of weight and it's meant that my ring doesn't really fit me anymore so instead i just wear my necklace still with my boyfriend i literally have already talked about that i just my ring doesn't fit me anymore my promise ring which is why i wear this which you can't really see well what was i saying yeah i just i really envy uh, the life i used to have bearing in mind that that was back in a time where i didn't like doing house chores or anything like that i just i remember a time where i used to go to bed at like 11 p.m and i used to wake up between 7 and 8 a.m and i'm just like thinking back at it and like, looking back at it now and thinking how the hell did i manage it i just can't do it now like my sleep schedule roughly is from like 3 a.m to 10 11 a.m also this at some point this week i do want to talk about like what's going on in my life like i feel like it's all i really do at the moment obviously with like, driving and everything but i do need to talk about like what's going on with this channel and like my music channel and everything like that to be honest i was meant to like sit down and plan an update video for that and like for the, well i've been meaning to do it for like the past week now and i just haven't and it's because i just don't know what i'd say i'm like just looking back on my my channel right now like this channel that i'm on seeing all the different videos that are on there what time did I used to wake up? 8.32, fuck me. That's early. There's a little like screenshot of a time when I woke up with my, my realistic winter morning routine. That could be worth a watch. Sometimes I do look back on my vlogs. I say sometimes. I'd say I do it like once every three months. I like to look back at my old vlogs, see what my life used to be like and envy it like i said i should probably open a window or something i do need to get on with some other things now like some house bits like i need to hoover ideally i know the dishwasher i don't even know if that's done to be fair the dishwasher I need to check on it and i just i just kind of want some semblance of my old life back like i don't care how it happens i just do
so it is now like five past one and i'm feeling super tired but that's because i got six hours of sleep last night which isn't quite enough for me but i am glad that i managed to get those couple of like house chores done because it's made me feel really good about myself like having all of this extra time it's also really nice out yes it's a bit cloudy but it is it's still nice and sunny and it's like 19 degrees outside 20 actually i have tried calling my boyfriend because i haven't spoken to him yet today but i think he's still asleep and i don't blame him because he's got the week off work so it's not like he has to wake up super early but because it's only like five past one i am actually gonna get some like writing work done i don't think i'm gonna get writing work done up here here i would like to go downstairs like i would say maybe i'd like to go out in the garden i'm not too sure where i want to go and get this writing work done it is nice outside i do think that i very well could go outside i just i don't know because if my boyfriend does call me back i don't want to be outside when he calls me you know like when he wakes up so i think i'm just gonna go downstairs and maybe sit on the sofa i'm actually gonna plug my little what do you even call it like usb hub thingy my laptop is low on like battery but it's not in the range where it needs charging just yet so i probably will just sit on the sofa have a snack maybe that way if my boyfriend calls me you know from there just downstairs on the sofa i can i can just easily like pick up the phone as opposed to like if i was outside i'd feel super uncomfortable because my neighbors or like my neighbor is a nosy old retired man but i think first i'm gonna take a couple things off of my to-do list because i've done quite a bit already today i actually need to add a couple things oh so i did cook bacon i hoovered let me just add those things Hoover, cook, bacon for week. Got ready. What I'm going to do with this one here is I'm just going to put a line through it to say that it's not happened. And then I can just tick that and that I hoovered and I cooked my bacon for the week. And I'm now going to head downstairs. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take hold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid shit. Take a seat. Let me waste your time. So do top of time. Good afternoon everyone, it is now Tuesday, who even is the date, the 26th, and it's currently like 5 to 2 actually, there we go, and I have been awake since about quarter to 10, because I did actually have my driving lesson today, and yeah, I'm literally wearing the same thing as I did yesterday, because I, quite a few of my tops actually are in the wash, like the ones that I wear the most anyway. I actually need to do that tomorrow. I need to do the laundry tomorrow, because like the laundry hamper is full. It's very full. But I've had my driving lesson now. I feel quite tired, because obviously I still only got like six hours of sleep last night, and I've obviously got this cold as well, which is making it feel even worse. I have to say, I did quite enjoy getting my writing done, like, before work yesterday. Like, well, bearing in mind I did have a lot more time yesterday than I do today, but I did really enjoy it and I liked being able to switch off my brain last night. It sounds weird, but, like, it was nice being able to, like, switch off 
my like creative part of my brain last night but then also to be fair it did take me a bit longer to get to sleep probably because I'm used to being so creative at night I feel I just feel like with my writing I just want to find I just want a new and improved writing routine also just a new improved routine in general because you know for the past few weeks it's been a case of like waking up really late between like 11 and 12 and it's been so bad that i'm always i've always been like rushing around like it needs to stop basically i need to be going to bed early or fairly early at night anyway because obviously like i do do shift work so it does mean that i do go to bed late because I do four to late shifts. So the earliest I can really go to sleep is around 2 a.m. most nights. And because it's like Monday to Thursday and I've been doing it for so long, it's just become routine now because I'm gonna set myself up to get a little bit of writing work done, even if it's like 20 minutes. Like I just wanna get 20 minutes done because obviously I enjoyed it so much yesterday. Getting my, like my work done now my writing done now i don't actually know what i'm doing i'm just trying to like set things up here remind me later scrivener needs updating but i'm gonna leave that for later i'll let it do that later because i just want to get oh that's cool i forgot you can change the theme of scrivener file recent projects nothing but everything to hide notes to be honest i feel like i don't really talk about my writing anymore literally i feel like this nothing much to talk about because all i'm doing is brain brainstorming for effie's book but in all honesty it does feel like i'm writing an entire fucking book before the actual book happens and I'm, I'm kind of getting to a point where i'm just like what is what is the point of all of this but it will be hugely beneficial when i do actually write the book literally i'm just gonna sit up here today mainly because it's easier than having to like take my stuff downstairs and then bring it all back up and also my brother is home today but i do think that i am on the road to a much better routine or like starting anyway because obviously we all know that it takes 21 days three weeks to set a new routine in place oh my hand like hurts so much like my wrist from driving because i have this tendency to be like gripping onto the wheel like holding onto it for dear life but especially because like there's a lot of like sharp turns around here it means a lot of like gripping on for dear life which hurts my wrists because carpal tunnel sadly unfortunately runs in my family which is just great you know It's 
to the one street that I know. Oh no, oh, there's no one like you. Oh, how will I get through all these nights when I'm alone? I keep scrolling through my phone. Oh. I wish there was a pill to get over. Good evening everyone. So it is now Wednesday, Wednesday the 27th. It's currently approaching 10 past 9 and no I haven't talked all day because I've just been like, well to be fair I haven't really done much today. Obviously I've been at work for like the past four hours so I'd say that definitely counts but in terms of like other stuff like I got myself up and ready this morning which you saw and like journaled there's been like a big gap in like the day that I've shown but obviously that gap was me going to work and my god am I <sighs> tired now I don't know why to be fair I worked for four hours and I've been up since like 11 because I actually got decent sleep last night like decent quality decent amount and when I woke up this morning I felt like amazing like most of my cold had cleared up like I felt like a weight in a way like lifted off my chest maybe quite literally as well because like I just generally don't feel as bad as I did like yesterday like I just feel so much better even though my voice doesn't really reflect that because it's still like nasally not even nasally but like deeper than usual which I don't like and I am like having this I'm getting this dry cough a lot now which I feel like is just making my chest feel a bit worse for wear because it's like 10 past 9 it is dinner time like I literally do have my pizza here I'm about to eat and like watch some 911 Lone Star I just wanted to like pick up the camera and talk a little bit because I am actually feeling quite nervous about tomorrow obviously with it being like my second driving test it is in the afternoon and you know, well, it's, it's on a Thursday, like my previous one. It's like literally at the same time as my last one, which is making me feel a little bit on edge because it just feels like, what is that? I haven't even eaten yet. Maybe it's not a part of my food, despite having not eaten yet. It just feels like maybe what I am feeling is like deja vu of like, because it was about a month ago now my first driving test but it still feels like it was like yesterday and because obviously my last test was on a Thursday as well I just feel like maybe those feelings that I had before my first test like the night before my first test I feel like those feelings are like starting to come back but like even more so because of like it being the exact same time and worrying that I'm gonna make another silly little mistake that'll mean I don't pass. I'm just feeling a lot of like dread around tomorrow's test, like the second test, and I'm starving. I will eat in just a minute. Yeah, I'm just feeling quite nervous and there was something else I was gonna say like regarding the whole thing. I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> the other thing I was gonna say, obviously I know that this feeling that I'm feeling right now will pass. The way like I explained it to my boyfriend last night was I hate that like the anxiety is more of the whole part leading up to it, the whole period leading up to the actual time of the test, the actual day of the test. The anxiety is around, I guess, the waiting as opposed to like the actual test because I know that as soon as I, because I know that as soon as I like, I get to the test centre and like I get myself up set up, 
I get myself set up with the examiner and everything, I'll be fine. My feelings will change as soon as I sit in the driver's seat with the examiner next to me. I know it'll change, it's just, it's just this, this horrible part of like waiting, the lead up, the anticipation, and it leaves a lot of, a lot of room for a lot of different thoughts, like what if I don't pass, like I said with the, with the dread, especially considering what happened with my first test and not having passed. There's just a lot of dread around the thought of what will happen if I do something silly again and I don't pass again because basically if I don't it's expensive I pay my instructor for the lesson before the test which is like 70 quid then another 70 quid for the actual like test and then obviously the test itself costs 60 quid 60 pounds or around that anyway so it is expensive and I only work a little part-time job as opposed to like what most people do I guess so I do worry about money saying that I feel like I'm just I just generally feel like I'm really bad with like impulse buying especially after a, a long four hour shift because honestly four hours in retail feels like a lot longer than four hours so God, i can't remember the last time i even did more than four hours that was a long time ago i'm kind of glad i don't do more than four hours at the moment at work just being neurodivergent and being autistic it does exhaust me. I get exhausted more quickly as opposed to like neurotypicals. And it takes me like an hour to eat as well because I also have stomach issues and that just comes with the territory of being autistic apparently or neurodivergent just in general. There are some studies out there that, well, I say some, there's probably not a lot, if anything, you know, around neurodivergence or autism slash ADHD and gut health and like having like GI and bowel issues, I don't know. Anyway, I am now, speaking of, I'm now going to eat and it's going to take me an hour to eat this whole pizza. It's now 25 to 12. I had to work that out for a minute. I'm only just getting myself set up to get some writing work done and do it quite quietly because my parents are in bed. But yeah, I'm about to get some writing work done. I do only have like one bar of battery left on my camera. everyone so it is now saturday saturday evening and i really don't know what's going on with my voice at the moment like i don't know what's going on with it like i did cough a bit earlier and it was quite a vicious one so i think it's done something to like my vocal cords or something in all honesty i really don't remember what the last thing i filmed was like what i was talking about because the last that I filmed, like the last day, was Wednesday. So technically this, this vlog has only been like half a week in the life, but I did kind of explain why, like with my driving test 
on being on Thursday and how that would obviously well I knew that it meant that there would be like two to three days where I didn't like pick up the camera that did quite literally happen like either way the driving test went I feel like you will be happy to know that I passed I passed my driving test on Thursday and honestly it's such a good feeling it was such a huge relief I'm so happy that I can now like drive myself everywhere, drive myself places without having to rely on like other people. It's just such an amazing feeling and I do feel like incredibly blessed and grateful to be in this position where I've like I've passed my test and you know I have a car and I have money for fuel even though the first tank was on my dad because he said it was like kind of like a present for passing I think is what he said I'm not too sure because it was my mum that told me and so literally all that happened after my test on Thursday I obviously didn't have work because I got it managed to get it off as a holiday you know thanks to my my manager that I talked to the week before actually last week I don't I just don't know what else to say i feel like you can just you can see it on my face i'm happy i'm relieved and i'm grateful very appreciative of everyone around me i guess for like i i guess getting me through like the past few like the past three to four weeks since my first test because obviously i failed the first one back at the end of september september it is September, back at the end of August, because I failed that test, but I didn't fail this one. I passed this one. Also, I don't know what it is. I kind of hate the word fail. I was unsuccessful the first time, but I was successful the second time around. And like I said, I'm just incredibly grateful <laughs> and blessed. And I feel like it sounds kind of weird, but like when you fail something, like, I really don't know how to put it, but, like, after that first test and failing it, I I do think I got really down about it and really sort of depressed. I probably would say I was depressed because, obviously, I wasn't having, like, driving lessons or anything because I didn't need them, to be honest. Like, because my driving instructor literally said, you don't need any more lessons until just before your test and that's exactly what happened so i feel like because i wasn't having lessons i wasn't like waking up fairly early which then meant that i was going to bed late because i had no reason to go to bed early and wake up early but now it's a weird thing to be honest i just i just feel like i spent a lot of time just thinking about my driving and all the things that i could do once i passed my test i don't really know where i'm going with this i just feel at this point this point forward i'm not really thinking about my first test anymore like i'm really not it felt more like a mock test that first one it wasn't like a proper test and everything done by a proper dvsa examiner but my boyfriend actually put it in that sort of term like in the sense that it was a mock test to make me feel better about the second one because that was before that was like the night before so wednesday night i think i may have talked about this back then actually but that's what my boyfriend said that like my first test was more like a mock test in order to make me feel better about my second test and you know my feelings about it i think I did definitely talk about it, but I was very nervous for that second test, probably even more so than the first one, because obviously it felt like more pressure, more people knew, and when I did go into work on Thursday, not like to work, but to get a couple bits because I work in retail, but when I went into work, like more people asked me if I had passed than they did the first time around, but obviously I didn't know who knew now that i actually have like a full driving license which is another thing i don't know when i'm actually going to get my 
full license. I just know that it's... I'm definitely going to get it in the next one to three weeks. But I should definitely get my full driver license soon. As of right now, I literally just have my test certificate. So if something were to happen, I just need to show that. And so literally for the past, like, three... Not even three days. Well, yeah, because Thursday evening, Friday, and today, yeah, three days. I've just been doing a lot of driving with pass plates on so because obviously thursday evening drove to my boyfriend's was pissing with rain and it was dark but then yesterday i actually went into town with my boyfriend and then went and got takeaway yesterday with my boyfriend and my mother-in-law also went into my workplace got some more like little bits as well and then i went in town went back into town again today on my own to get another few bits which i'm about to show you anyway like i'm gonna show you everything i got I'm not gonna lie i did buy some books but then i wanted to reward myself in some way and i thought what better way to do it than with books so i've got books <laughs> which i will show you in just a bit and then obviously just drove back home and also drove my boyfriend to work earlier today because he's had the last like week and a bit off of work and it's his first day back so i dropped him off before i went into town and now i actually i'm gonna want to go fill up my water and show you these bits that i got i have now brought through the other bags that were in the spare room so it was this one here which it's not full, it's just got like some jackets that I took with me to my boyfriend's, like just in case. I've never actually wore them. And just a couple of other little bits, my watch charger, and also a Primark bag because a new Primark actually opened recently in like the nearest town slash city. So of course I had to go in there with my boyfriend originally, actually, and then he left because he got bored and only wanted jeans. So so, I've got quite a few bits, didn't spend too much though. Oh, and then I've also got another bag here of actually mainly the bits that I got today, actually. Just a little bit easier to show. And then literally after this, I've got quite a few bits to get done. I wanna try and get as much done this evening as possible. I'm gonna start with some of the basics because I'm just get the boring bits out of the way. Oh, actually, that's kind of not that boring. From B&M, I actually got two of these Option Top Chocolate Powder tubs because this is the stuff that I use in my coffee, the coffee that I have every morning. And then also from B&M, got a new notebook because it's pretty. You can literally tell it's from B&M by the sticker. £2.50, I will take it off, but it's literally just like this leaf design which says you can and you will in like this gold foil which you can hardly see i think they were the only bits that i got from b and i think the other bits were my boyfriend's and i can't remember what he got to be honest i didn't even pay for them my boyfriend paid in home bargain not home bargains b and oh dear i think it's because he actually paid in home bargains as well no he didn't i paid in the one in town anyway i'm hoping that my sister doesn't watch this because i did get this from home bargains the designer's fragrance body spray to Bell. i know i'm not saying that right i don't care because i got this for my sister for her birthday because i'm starting to get like little bits now let me think oh i've got my my boyfriend's birthday which is not next month but november then my sister's birthday three days before christmas and then christmas and yeah oh my god and then my mother-in-law's birthday is literally next january i don't know what i'm getting for her yet but I worry about that next year funnily enough and then these last couple of bits these are actually both conditioner because i do bloody love this stuff like the shampoo and conditioner and i have a, like a bottle of shampoo that I don't think i've used yet because i've been wanting the actual conditioner but i haven't had it at work we haven't got it in at work in like ages and if we have it's gone quickly so i just got some in in town like the outskirts the l'oreal paris alvive neutral gloss shine conditioner two of them by the way this big ass bag is from home bargains the bits that i got in primark that weren't clothing i got this pack 
of oval cotton pads because I just I get some pretty much every time I go into a Primark. Any Primark, I'll just get some. They're cheap, they're literally nine, 90 pence. And then I also got one face mask, one sheet mask because I did exercise a little bit of self-restraint. Just got the one and it's the PS Firming Lotus and White Tea and Mulberry Sheet Mask with extra hyaluronic acid, does it say? Yeah, it was added triple hyaluronic acid complex. And then also did a bad thing, did another bad thing. Well, the first bad thing, I got one candle, but it was literally £1.80. Literally, if I find a candle like this for like less than two quid, probably will buy it, which is why I've got so many up there. This is literally just orange, cinnamon and clove. I actually quite like it. It smells a bit like Play-Doh, <laughs> but I don't mind it. I don't know what it is. I think it's a clove. I think it's a mixture of like the cinnamon and clove, maybe. I don't know. But one is better than five or two or three. I can't say that about books though. I haven't even gone to the books yet. Now for the clothes. I'm just gonna pull this first thing out. Oh, joggers. I got a pair of joggers. You can't really tell. I just basically got everything in either a size like 14 to 16 or a large basically. So the first pair of jogging bottoms that I got, I got, I think I got maybe two or three, I'm not too sure. Oh, they do feel quite nice. They are so soft on the inside. They're a bit thin, but they're fine. They were six pounds. They just have a little bit of writing on the side. I think it just says Soho London. I kind of liked that little bit of writing on it. Then the next thing, I then got a jumper. It says Chow on the front. I believe it's actually, it can mean, it can mean a lot of things in Italian actually, I know that. I think it's more like a greeting, like ciao, as in like saying hi or goodbye. It does have a hood, I just have it behind. I feel like that would be like super nice in the colder weather. And oh, how much was this? Eight pounds. Because all of this stuff has somehow got to go in my wardrobe. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I love these so much. A grey pair of joggers, so basic. But I do like them. Were these the skinny fit ones? Yes, these were the skinny fit ones. How much were they? Six quid as well. They just say grey on them. Sophisticate, something like this, sophisticated. The O signifies wisdom and sophistication. Because, oh, did I not explain? I don't go out a lot, so I spend a lot of time inside. So this sort of thing, right up my alley. It's all I ever wear. During the winter, or like autumn and winter anyway. Cold weather, here I come. Oh, and then I just basically got a plain black pair of joggers. Oh, these are like cuffed at the bottom and were seven quid. And then I also got some more cozy socks because I think I may have chucked out like a bunch not that long ago when I did like a wardrobe to clutter out. And based on the clothes that I got, I'm going to need to do another one. So I got some more like cozy socks. I actually really like these ones. They're like a cream on black like black spotty and there are like bits coming off of it because they're kind of shiny i just really like them actually two pounds that's actually decent i just love cozy socks especially when i like go to my boyfriend's i don't want to take my big ass slippers to his so i just take cozy socks they're just a bit easier to transport the last little thing i got from primark so not like the last bit of clothing there's one more piece of clothing in the bag i got this ps blemish gel oh it's tea tree and witch hazel cool because it was it was one pound 80 and literally anything i see like this i will usually just get like anything that's under two quid that'll probably go in my drawer <laughs> gotta stop buying skincare to be fair that was like the only bit of skincare that i bought the whole time because i didn't need to go into like super drug or anywhere i did try to go into super drug for a tangle teaser for my boyfriends to like keep up my boyfriends because i've already got one here i just needed one for my boyfriends for, like when i shower at his and i need one because I use them to brush through wet hair. The last bit of clothing I got is this. It's kind of like a shirt. I think it's meant to be like a shirt. I don't know when I'd wear this or anything, but I did really like it. I think the sleeves you can roll. Right now they're like kind of rolled up to like a short sleeve, but I think you can roll them out possibly. They'd probably look quite nice, like over just a normal top, like a white top or something with, you know, with like leggings or some flared trousers. Not that I wear flared trousers, but I did really like this and it was eight pounds. And that was everything I got from Primark, but not the last of the clothes actually. I did go into like new look today. The thing with Primark,
Primark is I can never find like tops that I like. I guess I've just found like over the years Primark is not the best with just normal tops like this. Like I just want a plain oversized top because I've got a bigger tummy than other people and I'd like to be able to cover it up because I don't like it. I went into New Look today and got four new tops, just basic tops really. So the first one here is a black one with some writing on the front. It's just like this lunar sort of thing. It does say lunar on it. Yeah, lunar phases, moon magic. I feel like this is the type of top that my mother-in-law would love. Oh yeah, because I got like a bunch of these sort of tops in the sale so if you were to go in you probably wouldn't be able to find them in just thought i'd say that i just love this top quite a lot i just think new look is really good for tops this was in a size 14 ah uh, actually that should be all right yeah i think 14 should be fine because yeah this was only seven quid again i got this one in a 14 bearing in mind that these are quite oversized as well like they're all i think class is oversized and this was 10 pounds can't remember what's on the front i think it's more moon dream moon beam dreamer with like a sunflower in the middle then i got this dark green one i thought this was such a good color for autumn and this one is cosmic visions into the Chrysler Bull, West 46th Street. I just love it. This, again, size 14, was 10 quid in sale. What was it originally? About 15 quid. And then the last one is a white one. So I was a little bit hesitant with this one, but I do really like the design on the front. You can tell what kind of thing that I like. Sunshine. I also just really like the colours on the front. Just give me a moment. It says endless summer, relax and enjoy life. I just, I love this sort of style and these sort of colours together. And this was, oh right, this one was not a sale top. I just saw it and absolutely loved it. Or I don't think it was a sale one anyway, no. I found this in just like the normal section. So I might still be able to find this this top in there because this was 13.99 and also i just think that new look tops are like really good quality as well they last a long time wait that last top was only 10.99 they did have to put in a code so i think maybe the actual barcode was the wrong one because that last top was 10.99 not 13.99 so well, there you go don't always trust like the actual product barcodes or the actual price that's on the shelf because a lot of the time when you get to the tills and they're scanned through it will go through as a different price sometimes some products you'd be amazed i'm saying this being a retail worker myself sometimes some staff members are dickheads and don't put the right price in the right place just be careful with that sort of thing if you see something for 79p that you don't believe and it also like the words on it don't match up with the product like the words on the the barcode don't trust it because a lot of the time some of my colleagues don't know don't know their names but just day shift lazy fucks books maybe i got too many so the first book i got is until next weekend by rachel marks i'll leave like all of these hopefully linked down in the description if you'd like to check out like the, the blurbs of them then i've got the gingerbread cafe by anita faulkner then got okay so this one definitely was in the deal they've stopped doing these stickers so much now so this one is confessions of a first time mum by poppy dolan then this one is the setup by lizzie dent then i've got last time we met by emily horton this next one i got okay so these that I've been showing were in the three for six. The last one I've got, not this one, is the one that's not, one that wasn't in the deal. So this one is Together in Lilac Well by Sasha Morgan. Sasha Morgan. I will also show you my current read in a minute as well. And then this one is The Problem with Perfect by Philip William Stover. I do always like to try and get like a popular title. I don't know if this is like a popular popular title or if it's it is an lgbtq plus like book 
and I do like that sort of thing. I need to read more of LGBTQ+, being part of the community of myself, I definitely do. There's just not a lot of bisexual representation out there, and this probably won't have any either. But they were all the books that I got. I know, bad habit, but it was my reward for driving. I now need to put a bunch of this stuff away. These will go in the other room. But that is everything I got. I just want to get on with my other things that I need to do. But this is my current read. Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuick... Casey McQuiston. Why did I have so much trouble getting that out? I, I'm just having so much talk, trouble talking. Probably because I've been talking too much and I need to get on with stuff. Because it's been about an hour. And I know there's a film out now of this book. Film adaptation anyway. On Amazon Prime. But I'm not watching it until I finish the book. I'm on page 128 of let me see about 400 pages 418 so i'm about a quarter of the way through let's take these books through to the other room so now that it's quarter past eight as you can see i did say that i've got a couple of things or a few things i'd like to get done this evening one of them is i do need to sort out like my bullet journal like next week and next month actually because literally today is the last day of this month tomorrow is a whole new month tomorrow is october which by the way the month starts <laughs> on a Sunday, which I think means there might be a Friday the 13th in October. I'm not too sure, let me check. There is indeed a Friday the 13th in October. Is that kind of creepy or not? To be honest, I don't really believe in that kind of stuff, but if you do, I probably would say it's kind of creepy. I am actually gonna get my bullet journal sorted out first. I was gonna get some like music done, get my guitar out, practice, but I think I'm gonna skip out on it tonight just because I wanna get other things done. Like I'm prioritizing like my bullet journal and editing and writing this evening. now 20 to 10 and it is now dinner time and i literally just have spaghetti bolognese i usually would have it with pasta like just normal like penne pasta or like fusilli because i don't really like spaghetti so i'm really sorry to like italians i'm gonna be cutting up with a knife good evening everyone so it is now actually monday the 2nd of october it's now actually a completely new month 
and a new week. To be honest, I feel like I don't really know what this vlog has been. Obviously, it's been in the week in life, but it's been a bit of like a weird mismatched one. Like, I haven't really, like, the days I did vlog, I think, were Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday? So it makes four days. I would say that's technically enough to actually be titled a week in the life. And when you include this one, include today. That's five days. So I would say that yeah, that is a week in the life. Because obviously I had a driving lesson on Tuesday, last Tuesday, and then I had my actual test on Thursday and obviously I told you I did pass and so this like past weekend and now starting this week I have been driving myself a lot of places like obviously went to my boyfriend's last week over the weekend went into town and I've also now driven myself to work I am having to keep my voice down right now because obviously my parents are in bed because it's 20 to 12 and I never even said that I actually passed my test with two minors. The first one was for stalling and because the car was in the other side of the road but it was only classed as a minor because there were no cars there which I got quite lucky with I'm not gonna lie. I also got quite a nice route and also the examiner was quite nice so a lot nicer than the one one of my first tests the first one I'm not gonna lie it was a bit grumpy but I think it's because They've been in that that profession for longer than a decade. That sort of thing. I feel like you just get tired of it very quickly. It's like, it's customer service. Like, I've been working in retail for five years too many. So I get it in that sense. But also, it's not the kind of environment that you should really be grumpy in. And the second one was a hesitation at... A junction because it was wide enough like two cars there was one car going left I was going right so I was able to get to like the bottom of the junction but because that car was to the left of me it was kind of like a close off junction like it was really hard to see left to see if anything was coming there wasn't anything coming but because I stayed at the junction for too long, that's why I got that minor for undue hesitation. I'm now like driving, so it feels good because I feel like I've now completed my main goal of the year, you know, to, to have a car, to have a full driving license, which obviously I'm like still waiting on. I probably won't get it until like the end of this week. Right now, I don't actually have like my driving license as a form of ID because it got taken at the end of my my test because obviously I passed and so I guess the other thing I have been putting off talking about is what is going on with my YouTube channels because I know what I need to do in terms of my YouTube channels what the best thing is for me moving forward I've talked about this before and I'm gonna say it again. I need to start trying to figure parts of my life out. Obviously, my YouTube channel is a big part of my life. This one and my music one. My music channel, not so much, but that is what I would like to change. It's what I feel also needs to change. Basically, I'm just gonna say this out right now. I really need to take a break from this channel to focus on my music channel so in other words yeah i'm taking a break i don't know if like i'm gonna film writing vlogs every so often just normal life vlogs or my neurodivergent diaries i really don't know i just right now i just really want to be able to focus on my music channel so basically this is just me making you aware that I'm not going to be posting as much on this channel for the time being because I just want to focus on my music channel. I just need to do it. I need to take that leap. I need to really focus and hone in on my music because that is what I want to be doing. I want to be putting in the work to that channel because I feel like this one's just kind of got to a point where 
I just do this one for fun like because I don't really have an upload schedule anymore I do try to aim for like the weekend usually like Sunday now because I'm gonna be focusing more on that channel now and by the time this video is up it does mean that yeah I am gonna be like not posting as much for the time being and like I said I don't know what's gonna happen to this channel as of right now I'm just gonna like leave it at that like I don't want to say that oh I'm gonna come back I'm gonna make this and this video I'm gonna do like more week in the lives because just for the time being I really want to focus on my music and then I feel like once I've gotten that I want to get my music channel up and running again and I'm gonna do whatever it takes even if it means taking a long last break from this channel I will still keep you updated though with like maybe short little update videos here and there I will even post in my community tab as well I think that being said I need to end this vlog here because otherwise this vlog is going to be so long. I enjoyed this vlog. I enjoyed filming this vlog actually. Yeah, I definitely did. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And you'd like to like stay up to date with everything also don't forget to go over to my music channel which will be linked down below and also in the end card as well to see what i get up to how often i post and everything and that is going to be it for this video and i will see you about i guess bye